What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUp So in today's video, we're gonna check out a texture positioning extension for SketchUp from Christina Inneroth. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can download this extension for free by going to the SketchUp extension warehouse and looking for Inneroth texture positioning tools. And so when you install this, what this is gonna allow you to do is access this toolbar that allows you to quickly do some different things with your textures. All right, and so what this tool is gonna to do is it's gonna give you a tool set for quickly positioning textures on objects inside of SketchUp. And so this can be really valuable for situations where, for example, your objects don't run along the specified axes. So let's say, for example, that I was to apply this tile material to this surface. Well, the problem with this surface right now is that the material is still running straight up and down, even though the object runs in this direction, right? It's like off axis. And so what you can do though, is you can select a surface and then notice how there's an option in here to align texture. So if I click on this, what this is gonna do is it's gonna find one of the sides and try to align the texture to that side. Well, notice how what that does is now my material is no longer just following along um, the straight up and down or along the X, Y axes. It's actually following my object. And then the second option, so let's say that I wanted to, instead of aligning it with this side right here, this also allows you to specify a side. So for example, let's say that I wanted to align this texture to this central line. What I could do is I could select that. I could do a shift click and select the central line. And then I could use the second option, which is align texture to edge. And so what that's gonna do is that's going to align the texture to the edge that I have selected. So let's say I was to do this again, but this one, I wanted to align with this edge. Well, what I could do is I could select it, select the edge, and then click on the button right here. And so notice how this will work with multiple faces as well. So if I do a shift click like this and I select this edge and then I run this, it's going to align both of those with that edge. Now this is a little bit off right here, obviously, but it is going to work with multiple surfaces. Um, you might just have to come in here and manually kind of adjust it with the position texture tool. But being able to align this really quickly can be really helpful. And then another place where this can be really helpful is say that you have a surface like this one, right? So say that you had a number of boards that were running in a floor or something like that. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a texture. It's basically like a wood look texture in here. And so we'll go ahead and apply this plywood wood texture. Well, the problem with this texture right now is that the grains are running in the wrong direction. And so instead of having to mess around with right clicking on things and selecting individual textures and positioning them, what you can do instead is you can select all of these textures and then there's options in here to rotate these clockwise and counterclockwise like this. So what that means is that means that you can take a number of different textures all at once and you can adjust the direction that they're going for all of those at the same time. All right, so in addition to being able to rotate things by 90 degrees, you can also select a texture and you can dictate the number of degrees you wanna rotate this along. So let's say we wanted this to be turned and kind of diagonal. Well, what I could do is I could click on the rotate custom angle button right here. Well, when I do that, what I can do is I can type in a value. So say 45 degrees right here, and that's going to rotate the texture in here by 45 degrees. So you can use this in order to quickly rotate textures to any angle that you want. All right, and then the last option I wanna talk about is probably my favorite inside of this extension. All right, so basically what this does is, let's say I was just to select this entire thing and click on the option right here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna ma randomly move the textures around on this surface to make sure that you don't have any patterns in here. So you can use that in order to just randomize uh, materials on surfaces like these. So for this flooring material, I think it makes a ton of sense. You could also use it, um, let's say that you had like a ground plane or something like that. And let's say we applied a grass to it. So we're just gonna take maybe a little bit hard to see, but not too bad. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, something like this. But notice how now you can see repetition in here where it's tiling the texture. So if you've ever seen a model with the textures is so small that you just get this kind of like repeating thing over and over again, uh, maybe the dark green is gonna show it a little better. Um, but you can see how again and again and again, you have the same objects repeating. That's just kind of how textures work, right? Because they're just repeating a texture on a surface. But let's say we were to split this up. So I'm just gonna use the move tool in copy mode and just divide this up really quick. So I'm just splitting it with lines or edges. But 
what you could do is you could come in here now with multiple um, surfaces selected and you could use the randomize in order to randomize this so that you're not getting the same repetition over and over and over again, right? Notice how it's no longer uniform like it was before. So if you're having tiling issues, then this could be a really great way to move those textures around to avoid that tiling. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this extension. If you have any questions, big thank you to my supporters on Patreon for voting on this extension. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.